Welcome back to another episode of Off Night Radio, powered by SR Now Media. I am your host, Model, coming at you from the Divisional Week, Divisional Playoff Week, 2021 NFL Divisional Week. Let's get right into it. Uh, let's get right into my huge health tips.com sports headlines. Sad, sad news that I find sad. Um, for the 1,000th time, Josh Gordon has been suspended indefinitely uh, by the NFL. I can't even count how many times he's been suspended. It was for substance abuse. It was for, uh, I think it was drug abuse a few times. I don't know. This is, he's been suspended indefinitely. I don't even want to get into the reason why, but this is the last time we'll see Josh Gordon in the NFL ever again. I think it's over. Um, and we got some new coaching hires in the NFL. The New York Jets hired uh, Robert Saleh. We'll talk about that a little bit later. The Jaguars hired a uh, co- college coach phenomenon, Urban Meyer. And the Falcons have just recently hired offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans, Arthur Smith. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, Ryan Garcia. This made me laugh. Ryan Garcia, boxing. 22-year-old Ryan Garcia says he's going to retire from boxing at 26. And he's going to start doing MMA at 26 just to prove that he's the greatest fighter to ever live. Now, we'll see if that actually goes through with that. Now, I don't think a boxer can make that jump, but we will see. And Ryan Garcia is a hell of a boxer. No disrespect to him. But to jump in that, oct- to get out of the ring, to get into the octagon is is, is a bold move. Um, but we will see. I, and I do know that Ryan Garcia has a kickboxing background as well. So I, I do know where that energy comes from. But we will see. Um, golf news, Justin Thomas loses a Ralph Lauren sponsorship for an anti-gay slur that he put out uh, to the public. I won't say the, I won't say the anti-gay slur he put out there, but hell of a way to lose that type of sponsorship because Ralph Lauren isn't sponsored by too many people in the sports world or in the world at all. So to lose that sponsorship um, over saying something that he thinks that he said, you can look it up yourself and look what, see what he said, but to lose a sponsorship over that is just nonsense. Um, of course, he came out with the apologies. Um, Ralph Lauren uh, issued an official statement so it is what it is, you know. That, but that's just a really, really stupid way uh, to lose out on on that kind of money. Um, and but Justin Thomas, he'll make money um, in golf. But still, you don't want to lose a Ralph Lauren uh, sponsorship if you're anybody. Um, and before we get into my main topics, this uh, this segment of the show is being brought to you by Stash Me Clothing. Please go to StashMe.net. Use the promo code Stash Off S T A S H. O-F-F, off at checkout. You can get 10% off your entire order. <clears throat> you can get uh, everything I'm wearing right now is uh, back in stock and is on the website as we speak. And I'll put a link in the description uh, for you to just go ahead and click and go right to that to that product. Uh, product links is what I'm talking about. Um, again, stashmeat.net. Promo code is stash off. Make sure you take care of our sponsors. A lot of people, a lot of people have been asking me how I feel about the Jets hire. Hiring uh, the, uh, the 49ers defensive coordinator, Robert Selly. I'm not jumping for joy. Everybody know I wanted Eric Behenemy as our new head coach. That didn't happen. I'm not jumping for joy. I'm, you know, he was defensive coordinator for the team when they went to the um, Super Bowl. Um, they, they had a pretty good defense this year, even though the 49ers weren't really good. They couldn't keep a quarterback on the field. It is what it is. What it is. Um, I'm not jumping for joy. Uh, we had Adam Gase. I think anything is an upgrade over Adam Gase at this point. Um, but we will see as, uh, as I talk to my other fellow Jets fans, you know, we're not excited, but we will see, we'll give them a shot and, uh, you know, we will see at this point. Yeah. It's hard to, it's, I can't really give you an analysis. I, I, he wasn't high on my radar to begin with and, uh, you know, don't know too much about him and, you know, we just have to see next season. You have to see how he drafts. We have to see how he talks and, you know, so we will see. Not excited. I want to give a shout out to John Wall. I think John Wall handled this James Harden uh, debacle the best. I think he said the right things in the press conference. I said I think he didn't throw his teammates under the bus. He, to, he didn't throw James Harden under the bus. He didn't just come out and because I felt looking at his face, I feel like he wanted to. Do. I feel like he wanted to go in the press conference and say the hell with James Harden. He don't want to be here. We don't want him here. It'll be we'll be better off without him. That's what I think he wanted to say, but he didn't. He handled it professionally. He ended up like a complete pro, and um, lo and behold, James Harden is, in fact, out of there. But I just want to give a shout-out to James to John Wall for handling it well. And shout-out to John Wall. He came in off of uh, two Achilles injuries and averaging 18 points a game. So shout-out to John Wall for that. Um, 
But you know what we're here to talk about? We're here to talk about the trade. Um, James Harden has been traded from the Houston Rockets to the Brooklyn Nets to join Kyrie Irving, who hasn't, who still hasn't returned to work yet, and uh, Kevin Durant. So I'm here to say that I don't, uh, I don't even, I don't know what, I don't know how this 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 marriage is going to work. I don't know how Kyrie Irving. Who hasn't, who hasn't been, no one knows where he is. The coach don't know where he is. The owner don't know where he is. None of his teammates know where he is. Uh, he left for personal reasons. There's been, um, he's, I think he told the coach, one of them, that he don't feel like playing or something like that. He's on social media at a part, at a family party with no mask. Uh, you know the NBA has strict COVID rules going on right now. On top of the thing that he has a $144 million contract and he's not going to work. Now, let's put this in perspective. I don't care if you work at Rite Aid, the post office, the CIA, the the the, the, the uh, I don't like I don't care where you work. If you work for Apple, if you work for the Apple Store, I don't care where you work. I don't know anybody who can just n- no call no show for damn near two weeks and still keep their job. Like this is this is crazy. No one knows where he is. This is a blatant no call no show. It's a disrespect to his teammates. Disrespect to his head coach. Disrespect to the Brooklyn Nets fan. Dif- different disrespect to the uh, d- uh, Brooklyn Nets front office. Now I'm hearing that he might show up this weekend. They're saying that he might. Somebody got in touch with him. He said, yeah, I might be there this weekend. What do you mean you might be there this weekend? Ladies and gentlemen, I, want, I, don't kid, I know a lot of kids look up to Kyrie Irving. Listen, when you get a job, there's no one's putting up with what Kyrie Irving is doing. I'm telling you. This don't do not copy this. Do not repeat this. This is not the way you operate in the business world or when you have a job. Whatsoever. You'll be fired. You'll be fired within the first two or three days. Do not copy this man's actions. Do not do this. Do not pass go. Do not try this at home. Do not do this. This is nuts. And um a little birdie is telling me this birdie is floating around. Rumors is that they might be look already looking at trying to get rid of him. But good luck with that, because if he don't show up to work for you. And you gave him 144 million. What makes you think he's gonna? The other team is gonna trade for him, and so he doesn't show up to work for them, and they still have to pay out his contract. So that is what it is. But let's talk about the trade, right? Let's assume Kyrie Irving does come to work. Let's assume Durant's there. Let's assume that James Harden uh, passes the COVID. Um, he, he, he's uh, clear of COVID, and he can join the team and do all that stuff. Let's assume all that is true, right? A lot of people are jumping to conclusions, already saying that the Brooklyn Nets are favorites to come out of the East. Before James, before they got James Harden, I wasn't so high on them. I didn't think they were going to be, a t- I said they weren't barely a top four team in the East. I still don't think they're better than the Sixers. I still don't think they're better than the Milwaukee Bucks. And when Kimball Walker gets back, I still don't think they're better than the Celtics. And I'm not even ruling out Miami. Because Miami's, I think they're slow throttling right now. Um, but... I think as the season progresses, as they get to March, April, I think they'll begin to pick it up. And I don't think this works. I don't think this move makes basketball sense. Kevin Durant, superstar. James Harden, superstar. One of the best scores I've ever seen in my life. Kyrie Irving, superstar. But I don't think these three players on the same team makes basketball sense. It's what are they going to run ISOs all day? I don't think this makes basketball sense. Who's going to be the player with these three egos? Who's going to be the player to take the step back and go, you know what, I'll be the third wheel. I'll, I'll step back. Just to simply do the math. If they all take 20 shots a game and they average more than that, they, all, they average more than 20 shots a game, all three of them, right? That's 60 shots a game. Most teams, most NBA teams get up 80 to 90 shots a game, period. So you're trying to tell me that those three players – are going to put up almost 80% of all the shots? I don't see how it's going to work. The the basketball, I don't see how it makes basketball sense. It makes it doesn't make basketball sense whatsoever. It just doesn't. It really really doesn't. So, we will see. I'm just being I'm just putting it on the record that I am not a firm believer in the Brooklyn Nets. I do not believe they're going to make it to the finals. I do not believe they're better than the Sixers. I do not believe they're better than the Bucks. And they, I I give them, you know, I don't I, I don't even. I give the Celtics the edge over them. I don't think they're better than the Celtics when Kimball Walker comes back. Don't believe it. Sorry. Don't believe it. But moving right along, 
just like we did last week, I'm going to do my NFL picks. And I'm going to join that up with my one good bet segment. So I'm going to tell you how I'm going to bet the divisional playoff round um, going forward. So going into last week, I did really, really good on the straight up picks. Now, when I bet the over-unders, I think I lost all the over-under bets, right? But when I bet straight up, I won all those bets. So as any smart person would do, going into the next week, all of my bets are going to be straight up this week. All right, so the first game, Buffalo Bills at the at the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going Baltimore Ravens straight up. No points, no over-under, Baltimore Ravens straight up. Kansas City Chiefs versus the uh Kansas City Chiefs versus the Cleveland Browns. I don't think the Cleveland Browns have a chance. I'm going straight up Kansas City. Um Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the New Orleans Saints. I'm going Tampa Bay Buccaneers straight up. Don't think you're beating Tom Brady three times in a row. Um, I think I don't, and I also don't think Drew Brees is healthy, and the man has a job already lined up for him whenever he quits playing football. He just cracked seven ribs. He's forty-something years old. I think he's done with football, and this is his final game. Tom Brady win in a blowout. I might add, in a blowout, and I respect the Saints defense, but I think this is a blowout. Um, and what's the last game? What's the last game? What's the last game? Oh, and the Los Angeles Rams at the Green Bay Packers. This was one of my toughest games because it came down to this. If Jalen Ramsey clamps Devontae Adams, if he clamps him, I think the Rams win. If Aaron Rodgers finds, if, if he clamps Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers still finds a way to get let the other players get off, which is I don't believe they can, then I think the Packers can win. I re- I'm really, this game is really going to be decided between that matchup. If Jalen Ramsey clamps him, I think the Rams can win. And I think they only need 20 points to win. Now, I'm not crazy enough to bet against Aaron Rodgers. Not at this particular point. Not with a team that don't have a quarterback. Wolford cracked his neck. Uh, uh, um, Jared Goff is hurt. I don't believe he's he's healthy. Um, but it is what it is. I'm going with the Green Bay Packers straight up. Again, all straight up bets. I'm going Packers. Ravens, Chiefs, Tampa. All straight up bets. Uh, time to get into my... Uh, this next segment is being brought to you by Avalo Coffee. Please uh, use the promo code Avalo Coffee. Uh, use the promo code OFF at AvaloCoffee.com and get 10%, uh, 10% off your entire coffee order. That is exclusive to my off radio listeners. Again, AvaloCoffee.com, promo code OFF. Um, and all of the sponsored links will be in the, in the um, description. So you can just click and then go directly to the a direct link to the product and those promo codes. Um, yep. But we're over and over out of here. Time to get into our weekend sports brought to you by SpendingNight.com. We have UFC Fight Night on ABC for the first time ever. I don't think you guys understand that. We haven't had premium fighting on ABC since the late, late when, when Muhammad Ali was fighting and Leon Spinks were fighting on ABC network television. So... Um, if anything, you gotta tune into that. Um, to see what's that. Max Max Holloway. I think I got Max Holloway winning that that fight. By the way, so we will see about that. Of course, we got NFL playoff action. The Sunny Open is going. The PGA Tour is still in Hawaii. The Sunny Open is taking place. I think this uh, the Canadian guy Taylor. He's at the top of the. Uh, he's at the top of the leaderboard right now. So you got. I'm going to be tuning in and out of that. And the NHL is back. NHL is back. I think they're going to play a 56 game season. If I'm not mistaken. Glad to see hockey back. So. We will see about that. I'm over and I'm out of here, man. Glad to, um, we will be definitely be back for the conference championship game, NFL picks. Um, and I'll get to talk some more sports with you guys. So I'm over and I'm out of here. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and review. Make sure you um, 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 subscribe to the SR Now Media YouTube page. That's very important. Make sure you take care of our sponsors. And um, make sure you check out the audio version on speaker or wherever you listen to um, podcasts. It will be greatly appreciated. I'm over and I'm out of here, man. See you guys next week for another episode of Off Night Radio.